Dang it, why is my Wraith so weak nowadays? Why is it so hard to get a kill with this beastie monster? Why? It's gonna go right down to the wire. That's everybody, right? No! No! Oh my god, no. No, no, no. Got him. I did it. I freaking did it. No, Lazarus got himself back. Unbelievable. Hunters win. Back at it one more time. Oh my goodness gracious. They have been insufferable. These freaking hunters have come back at the last moment, the last two rounds, when I had what I felt was perfect stage two victory set up. And they somehow snatched... I snatched defeat from the jaws of victory, or they did, or I don't know how the saying goes. Forget it. It's just, it's been, it's been rough. And I get all giddy that I'm going to get them all down. But as long as Lazarus is around, he makes my life miserable as a wraith because he's either reviving himself or he's reviving others. And I, I lose focus of him because I'm trying to make sure I get everybody else before I run out of health because it's a, it's a hot commodity with wraith. And... He revived somebody else from the ground previously. And then this last round, he revived himself from the ground. And then it's over. If you, if you commit that many resources, it's just over. I think what I need to do is just take it slow and steady and go and get... Go and get some, you know, penalties on Lazarus and then probably just bail. Either that or I have to just kill Lazarus outright right from the beginning. But the problem is he can respawn probably just as fast as I can take out the other three hunters with full health. So I probably need to go, I probably just need to play the long game and maintain health until stage three. Where I have a little bit more power, got a little bit more gas in the tank. And take my, be happy with one strike on Lazarus, get the job done and go from there. But we are going to get this, we are going to, I'm not going to just lose over and over and over and over again. It's absurd though, isn't it? You guys see those last rounds? You didn't, you got to go back and watch them. It was just like, every time it seemed like I was going to win. Every time it seemed like I was going to get it. And then they figured out some way to come back. The first round I did was absolutely terrible. They destroyed. I, I didn't balance my health. The domes were unkind. And it just, it seemed, it was ugly. But after that, we had like really good aggressive plays. The really nice, we've been using the phantom really well. And it just, it seemed like it was going to really work out. And it did not. Okay. Unlucky at best. Disappointing at worst. Depressing at an even lower level. Probably gonna come down that long alleyway so hopefully you can't shoot my body while I'm evolving. Um, I wanna get the Phantom. I wanna take I'm just I like this I like this setup. It really also didn't help that I missed so many abductions in the last uh the last fight of the last round of the last video. Maybe I had a shot if I hadn't done that. Maybe Lazarus, I would have been quicker to get Renegade Abe pinned and not had Lazarus had enough time to revive himself. It takes a lot of, uh, well, he's got his heal burst, so it's not that hard, I guess. I don't know. It's a nice quirk and trick, but I kind of wish that in Evolve 2, if it ever comes out, when it comes out, knock on wood, that, the, that, that if you're down can't get yourself back up, man. Like, sure, shoot other people, but like maybe your healing burst doesn't work anymore or something. I don't know. Just seems downright silly that you can pick themselves up. You're like, it's a, it's, a, it's a joy thief, you know? I feel like you did the right thing. Okay, I might as well just like start getting ready for stage three. They don't want to be anywhere near me, that's fine. Might as well start chomping my way towards stage three. Where the heck are they? Oh, okay, there they are. That means most likely Bucket and Lazarus are tailing from behind somewhere nearby, right? Griff oh, Griffin and Abe are there. It's a pretty similar spot to where I battled them last time. There's Laz. Okay. Focus on Bucket. I like Bucket. Monster Missed Bucket there. 
I don't know why Bucket is trying to come at me quick here. He's down. And where? There's Lazarus. Dang it. Did not want Renegade Abe at all. But if Lazarus is going to be obvious, make this hard for him. My, I can't believe my armor is already destroyed. How? How are you able to get my armor that quick? How? How, 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 how? Lazarus goes invisible. I've got the... Golly goodness. There goes Lazarus. Okay, he's out of the equation. Okay, can I please... Is it possible that I can just take them out here? I know that... I keep saying this is not what I'm going to do, and this is what I keep doing. Medic looks dead. Medic looks really dead. Which is great news. Oh my gosh, we might actually do it here. Someone's healing. I don't know who it is. Great get on the Renegade Abe. War Blast. Is that it? Is that it? No! Oh my... How is this happening? Hunters win. It's because, I guess it's because Griffin dropped in ultra fast. Because the first dropship comes in so quick. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm gonna scream. Unbelievable. Run it back. Okay, I promise you this time, no matter what. No, I don't want that. No matter what, I will... I will not engage, even if they make it super easy and it seems like it's going to be a, a takedown victory. It's just... Oh God, it's so... It looks so possible. And then out of nowhere, someone comes back and it's so nauseating. I, I have them right where I want them. Locked in so perfectly. But then they magically recover, whether it's because of a, of a quick drop ship, whether it's because Lazarus is healing people from the ground. I don't know. The early drop, like, it is so against the monster, the way they have this set up, especially a low health monster like Red. I mean, I know we just absolutely bulldoze our way through as like behemoth so I can't I can't say that like oh it doesn't favor the monster it's just specifically with Wraith the style of victory that I'm trying to achieve here it's just so hard when they have so many options to come back especially just given the, the lineup that they have it, the first don't favor it's like I have I have to play a different dumb strategy than I would with any other monster I guess which makes sense but it's specifically because of that that tiny first dome timer which I don't I, I wish wasn't such a factor. Not the first dome, sorry, the first dropship timer. The fact that the first dropship brings in so quickly. I guess it's to pre prevent early round victories, but at the same time, it just... It feels maddening to me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I can't... I can't express to you how good it feels to be so close to victory, and then they just take it away because of a, a, a dropship technicality. I'm moving pretty fast. I don't know. Whatever. All right. Complaining will never, never get me anywhere. So let's just, uh, let's just make it happen. All right, I'm, I am holding the plan no matter what. We're gonna forget Bucket. I'm going after Lazarus for the early down, and I'm getting out of there. The goal is just to make Lazarus vulnerable, so he'll die quickly, so that at stage three I can do what I want to do with a bigger, better dropship timer, where I have like a full almost two minutes with no Lazarus to get the job done, and then I can make it happen. As long as I preserve my health, I can assuredly make it happen at that point. These guys are quick, man. Um. Okay, so it, I would like to get Bucket or somebody dead, though, so I could activate the, the that first dropship timer. I don't know. We'll see. Because it's like once you start sacrificing health, you want to just go all in. So I cannot, no matter what, if I, as long as I get the down on Lazarus, I'm out. Maybe I can get the down Lazarus, come back for another down Lazarus, and then also get somebody else, and then bail, and just lose a little bit of health or something. I don't know. But again, if I I need someone to fully go back to the dropship, if I want to... I cannot... If Lazarus isn't fully dead, he'll come back and, you know, it's over. Blah. Alright, here we go. I'm sticking to the plan, the prescription has been ripped, and I am ready the to follow the ro road. All right. Not gonna mess it up, no matter what. 
Stick into our guns. Ooh. Last thing to our claws. We don't really have guns. They have the guns. I, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should stay far, far away from the guns. Sticking to the guns doesn't seem like it's worked out so well. Part of me just wants to go pull the freaking. I don't know what do you call this? The not the radiator, the relay. Just absolutely destroy it. Not even worry about killing them, but I have to. This is the only way we'll achieve satisfaction and actual victory. Are they nearby? Are they anywhere? Do they want to come out and play at all? It doesn't seem like it. I'd love for them to run into a big bad guy. Okay, they, they already did some massive uh, killing over here. Okay. Really? Where are you at, Laz? Push him away. This is fine. This is fine. They will not dome me if, if he's by himself. Get him right there. Come on. End him right here. Down. Okay. Down, down, down. I'm just going to sit on him and see if, it's, if I'm able to get him out of here quickly before they deal too much damage. I don't know. Go to the dropship, Laz. Okay, the medic is dead. I think I should probably be able to get something on Bucket here. He's gonna be back in 13 seconds. But if I can just get another down, and I'm gonna just kill Bucket. I'm gonna kill Bucket because this is what has to happen. I cannot afford to have him get picked back up, otherwise it's useless. I need his body to support his dad. I need can you please go to the dropship. Okay, good, I'm out of here. The dome is down right now, and I'm good. I lose barely any health, a little bit at the end there, which kind of sucks. I had almost a perfectly preserved battle, but it should be okay. The dome is being charged. The dropship should be back to good. Renegade Abe is pursuing aggressively, which I don't really understand, but okay. Their whole squad is back, but I'm hoping that because we got the kill on Bucket and his body was returned to the dropship, that I'm hoping I got two strikes out of that, losing less than a bar of health for two strikes. I hope that's, hope that's what happened. I'll have to wait and see. Um, if I could go get another strike on Lazarus, that would be great. Griffin and Abe are cool, as you can see. Um, I don't really know where anybody else is at this time. Bucket and Laz mu must be together there. Okay. Please tell me Bucket has a strike on him. He does. Great. Beautiful. Please tell me that Bucket has a strike on him, and he does. Pop the Phantom. There he is. Got him. Okay. Good heals. Good heals, man. We're doing, doing exactly what we need. Okay, good. You're gone. Another strike on him. Bucket is all the way over here. And I'm out. And I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm sticking to the plan as I promise. I'm not gonna mess. I'm not gonna mess around. I'm sticking to the plan. Let's double down on Laz. One on Bucket. So we're sitting at three strikes with hardly any health loss. And we're gonna go to stage three to supercharge our attacks a little bit and see if we can make this happen once and for all. Holy moly. All right, to the pig pen of monkeys. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how tough this is. It's like my favorite of all the challenge, though, because it's so gosh darn hard. All right, ready for, for stage three. I don't really need this armor regen at all. I really want the reduced damage. Um, I got to find where that's at, but we'll... It's right there. Okay. Grab the evolution, and then grab the damage reduction, and then we should be good. We get Laz out of there. He dies and we're good. Um, Phantom damage and wow and 30 second duration. That's helpful. And then I'm gonna go warp us. We'll keep abduction low. I'm gonna, I think this is probably is the, the way that I want to do it. They're gonna go to the relay. We know that. That's fine. I don't really mind or care. We got really good health here. Oh, that's movement speed. Ugh. I don't think I need that. I really would like damage reduction. There's Bucket and Laz. Okay, there he is. Hello, buddy. Where are you at? Right there. Okay. 
Get him. He's out of the dome range. Not gonna get hurt by anybody. I'm just gonna tear in him a little bit. Got him. Okay, Medic is dead. Bucket is over here now. And I have two minutes to make this happen. I got Danny Phantom up in here. Bucket trying to fly away home, and he's gonna go down real quick. We got a nice separation station. Those dudes were not playing kindly together. Everybody else, where is Bucket? No, where is Griffin? I can't have Griffin be lurking. There is the uh, the damage reduction as you see it. I gotta make sure that Griffin does not go. I think we got this. I think we really actually rolled right through them in perfect style. Yeah, it's so over. It's so over. You guys suck so much. Oh, this feels good. Absolutely wrecked them with near perfect health. This shows that you can play this absolutely perfect. And if you do it right, it's just so easy. That's how you get it done. Thank you. I'm taking a bow. Wraith out. Beautiful. Tropical terror tear down. Finally got the plan. Laz down, Laz down, got the lucky bucket strike, which helped, but then it's the separation that played the most critical role in making that happen. We did it. It's game over. Thank goodness gracious. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed Evolve. Hope you guys enjoyed finally getting the Wraith win. Oh my gosh, I need to freaking go eat some second dinner. That took a lot of energy, but we got it done. <laughs> Hallelujah, freaking Luya. Lazarus no more. Wraith reigns supreme once again. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Drink so much, y'all. Until next time, I love you a lot. I'll see you all later.